you are offered $1 million USD if you can hide a pair of car keys from the entirety of the FBI force for seven days. Where do you hide the keys? I stick them in my printer's ink cartridges. When the printer fails to work they will assume everything is normal. And with that $1 million you'll almost be able to afford another set of ink. Put them in a magnetic key hider, and stick them under some random 18-wheeler at the local truck stop. While the FBI is hunting for the keys, I change out the locks in the car. FBI comes screaming into my driveway with 60 seconds left on the clock. Tries the keys. They don't work. FBI concludes they have lost. I get a million dollars. A university janitor's keychain. Put them in the mail. Send them to an address that does not exist in a foreign country. They will come back in a few weeks or months. Send them UPS ground to your next door neighbor. That'll still take about nine days. Mail them to the FBI office. USPS media mail. Easy money. I can think of several locations. Inside of my hot water storage system tank. Cut a piece of framing timber. Bore a hole in it. Place keys inside and secure it to another piece of framing in the roof or under the house. Take a new large candle drill a hole in the underside. Insert the keys. Fill back up with the wax shavings. Place it in the oven so it melts back up and wrap it back up like new. You just shared your secret to the government. Gotta think of a new one. Do I need to be able to get them back? If not, I'd just toss them down a gopher hole here on the ranch way out back in the pasture, with the amount of random metal bits laying around after a century of farming, you're never finding them with a metal detector, in the middle of either the summer or the winter, you'll need a pick to move any of that hard native soil, good luck finding my soft moccasin tracks on dry ground among sheep and cattle prints galore, and between the gopher activity and the millions of identical holes, they are likely gone for good, they wouldn't even know which square mile to start looking on, I'll give them to my three-year-old to hide. Good luck finding them after that. No, if you ask your three-year-old to hide them they'll do a sh job. You hand them over and say, this is very important. I need you to keep track of these for seven days and that will guarantee they never get found. I'd tape them to my desktop and open incognito mode. Modern problems require modern solutions. Easy. Ask the CIA to hold them. Those two don't share sh this guy knows how it works. If the FBI are after you, just say the CIA are after you as well. Cancels out. Was gonna say up my app, but my uncle works for the FBI. I used to play a game called Where Are The Keys With My Uncle, remarkably similar to what you've described. Assuming I get a day of prep time, and that I can't damage the keys to the point that they are unrecognizable. 1. Microwave the keys. Gotta fry any electronics inside of them. 2. Buy a key ring, and a heart-shaped key chain. 3. Write a time and date on the key ring, along with a phone number. Call at this date. 4. Walk up to a random person. Do a small favor for them. Tell them to do a favor for someone they care about then give them the keys, and to keep the chain going. 5. Chaotic system created. I don't know where the keys are. The FBI has to get a warrant for every person in the chain. And if the keys are lost, or thrown in the garbage, all the better. Good luck finding them. There's a small chance that the FBI will find, be given the keys. But I like my odds. The key opens the box with the one million dollars. Hope the last person calls. Take the imprint of the keys. Melt the keys. After seven days, use that taken imprint mold to retrieve the keys. Where do you hide the imprint? In my dirt. Duct tape it inside a Starbucks cup. Drive to a part of town where tomorrow is garbage day. Leave it in some random person's garbage bin by the street. I've done a search for the FBI in a landfill months after the evidence was thrown away. Though we wouldn't know it's in a Starbucks cup. Each town has its own section in the landfill and garbage is systematically dug up and sifted through so it might be found using this method. I would suggest a cup in the neighboring city. I'd just leave them on an airplane. If the airline can't find my Nintendo Switch that I left on it, I doubt anyone is gonna find some keys. I used to work for an airline and had to clean the planes after flights. 
I can guarantee that it was pocketed by a worker. We don't make much anyway. Also, every airline has a don't talk about it policy we all just go with and only turn in the stuff if the owner asked about it or if the device has a tracking device in it. The managers don't even try to find the owners. Even if there is a name on it, they get a reward the more stuff they send to headquarters for valuable lost items. To me that's messed up and personally, I have no need for another phone or device or anything. By the time I caught on to the manager's benefit of it all, I started keeping the stuff I found like Kindles and iPads and stuff and mailed them to the owners or reported to the company where they relayed the message. This reminds me of a story. One time my when we were little like under three my dad lost his keys turned the house upside down, even tried to talk to two toddlers trying to figure out if we had hide them, it had just snowed, so my poor dad is outside cold miserable slowly going over the snow with a rake, my mom walks up behind him and pulls the keys out of his back pocket, they had been there the whole time, kinda feel like going and throwing them in a snow bank or a freshly snowed parking lot that is about to be shoveled and removed, in my panties, no one ever looks there, rip your inbox keys go in a plastic easter egg the easter egg goes in your egg it'll have to come out for you to poop and it'll have to go back in after you'll have to learn to do it without lube because if you always carried lube with you it might tip them off also you will need to not move very fast because you might rattle i give them to my friend who is conveniently going on a vacation with loaned money tape them on the fbi's back the jingling will haunt them all week, and they'll never find it. I mail them somewhere really far away. It's a federal offense to go through someone else's unopened mail and since key owning isn't a crime I don't see them getting a warrant. Mail hundreds of decoys keys across the world to China and Russia and everywhere else that dislikes the idea of FBI agents going through their mail system, and just leave the real keys in some random bush somewhere under a rock or something. Throw them in the ocean, never said I have to be able to retrieve them. Little did he know, the FBI scuba team had been waiting for this moment their whole lives. For a million bucks, I'm not the richest person in the world, but I can afford a plane ticket and a deep sea fishing trip. Get in the boat and toss them overboard in deep water off the coast of Alaska. It will take them more than seven days to get the naval assets together to search for the keys in 3,000 meters of water. Even if they knew where I threw them it would take forever to find them on the bottom. Does the FBI know I'm the one with the keys? If not, I'd just keep them with me and use them as my actual keys. If they do know it's me, I lock them in a box and throw it in the Delaware. Put them in a sock. Put the sock in the dryer, repeat until it goes to wherever socks go when they disappear from the dryer. Downside, they'll be gone forever. Haven't you realized that when the socks disappear they come back as random Tupperware lids? I bribe my way onto a container ship going anywhere in Asia that's registered to a non-US country doesn't matter where, it's the trip distance I'm concerned with, not the destination. If they don't have to be returned, well once we're far enough out at sea, toss. Those ain't getting found 12,000 feet down. If they do, I'll hide them in a random container filled with stuff. Even if the FBI determines I'm on the boat, once it's in international waters and since it's not a US ship, there's no jurisdiction to force it to turn around. I just need to hope they don't alert the Coast Guard before we hit the international boundary. Bribe your way onto a boat but drop the keys in a random storm drain on the way there, while the FBI is busy trying to deal with the bureaucratic stuff of getting to you, the keys are safe and nowhere near you. Easy, I just keep them on my person for a few hours, inevitably, I will lose them, and even the entirety of the FBI tearing apart my whole house won't be able to find the damn keys. Same but I have to place them purposely in a place where I will never forget them. Inevitably I will forget that very important obvious place and only remember that I thought it was very important and obvious. What is my perfect crime? I get the keys at midnight. Do I store them in a vault? No, I hang them from the chandelier. It's priceless. As I'm hanging them up, a woman catches me. She tells me to stop. It's her father's chandelier. She's Tiffany. I say no. We make love all night. In the morning, the FBI comes and I escape in one of their uniforms. I tell her to meet me in Mexico, but I go to Canada. I don't trust her. Besides, I like the cold. 
30 years later, I get a postcard. I have a son and he's the head of the FBI. This is where the story gets interesting. I tell Tiffany to meet me in Paris by the Trocadero. She's been waiting for me all these years. She's never taken another lover. I don't care. I don't show up. I go to Berlin. That's where I stashed the keys. On the third page of a Google search. Page one of Bing. I would call their office directly with a tip on where they are, and watch them never follow up on it. It's foolproof. Yes. This set of keys is threatening to shoot up its school. Yeah. There are postings online, texts, and voicemails of his that corroborate that and scare me. They're here on my desk at this address. Yes. I believe the keys already own some guns. Truly a foolproof plan. They'll never come by. FBI. I can't believe those keys shot up that school. This was an unforeseeable tragedy. Take a vacation abroad. FBI aren't going to be very effective where they have zero jurisdiction. I don't even need to go anywhere. I live in Canada. I would probably drive to the border just to taunt them though.